in the previous class we have seen how to convert sr to jk flip flop now we will see how to convert jk to sr flip flop okay so already we have seen some procedure by doing that procedure we will be able to convert the given jk to sr flip flop okay so at the end of this lecture you will be able to convert the given jk to sr flip flop okay so first let us remember our procedure okay so first we need to identify what is our required flip flop and what is our available flip flop so for the required flip flop we need to write the characteristic table and for the available flip flop we need to write the excitation table and then after that we will write the conversion table and then after that we need to derive the exp expressions uh, boolean expressions and then after that by using the obtained expressions we will write the logical circuit okay so let us start the procedure so first we will write the characteristic table for the required flip flop so first we need to identify the flip flops okay first we need to identify the flip flops so the given is jk2 esr so jk2 sr means the this is our available flip flop okay so this is our available and then this is our required okay so this is our required flip flop okay so we will write the characteristic table for okay so for uh, the required uh, we will write the characteristic table for the required flip flop okay so the characteristic table will be okay so the flip flop inputs so those are yes r and then qn plus 1 okay so yes r and then qn plus 1 so we will write the flip flop input so we have two combinations here so we are going to have four combinations we have two flip flop inputs here so one is yes other one is r so we are going to have four combinations so that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and then 1 1 so the qn plus 1 will be okay so for yes r okay so when it is 0 0 we have a memory so that means whatever we have q so uh, whatever we have the inputs for q so that is going to be the same state that is going to be the output for the qn plus 1 and then for the 0 1 it goes to the 0 and for the 1 0 whatever the value of q it is going to be set and for 1 1 it is going to be the invalid okay so it is going to be the invalid so we will write it as invalid state and then next uh, okay so let us write the excitation table for the available flip flop so the excitation table okay so available flip flop is nothing but jk so the excitation table starts with present state and then next state so okay q qn plus 1 and then uh, the inputs are j and then k the flip flop values are j and then k so let us write four combinations here for q and then qn plus 1 so that is 0 0 0 1 1 and then 1 so for jk okay so you can remember here for 0 0 so its answer is okay so 0 and then don't care for the 0 1 okay so you need to write here it as 1 and then don't care so here 1 0 he will write it as don't care and then 1 for 1 1 he will write it as don't care and then 0 we can remember the excitation table of jk like this for the 0 0 he will write it as 0 and then don't care so this is similar to sr and then for 1 1 okay so we'll write it as don't care and then 0 so this is similar to sr also and then for the 0 1 you have to write it as if you have to convert this 0 as complement okay so take the complement of 0 so that is 1 and then this 1 will be written as don't care remember like this and then for 1 0 you will write 1 as don't care and then for the 0 you will write it as 1 okay so this is the excitation table for jk now let us write the conversion table so let us write the conversion table here okay so the conversion table first we need to write the required flip flop inputs those are yes r and then other one is q present state and then the next state so that is qn plus 1 and then the flip flop inputs those are j and then k okay so these are our available flip flops okay so we will write okay so we have sr inputs here okay so for the sr with the inputs 0 0 so the q may be either 0 or 1 okay so with the 0 1 so the q may be either 0 or 1 and then for 1 0 the q may be either 0 or 1 okay so for 1 1 okay so the q may be either 0 or 1 okay so let us write the qn plus 1 so the qn plus 1 you have to consider the characteristic table of sr okay so you can see here we have already written sr for 0 0 it is q for 0 1 it is reset for 1 0 it is 1 for 1 1 it is don't care okay so according to that we will write the values of qn plus 1 for 0 0 it is q so we will write q answer so the q is 0 1 
and then for one zero one okay we will write it as zero zero and then for one zero okay so we will write it as set and then for uh, the one one whatever the value of q it is going to be the invalid state okay so the next one is from the values of q as well as qn plus 1 we will write jk okay so the jk value so you can see here 0 and then 0 so this is nothing but 0 and then don't care okay so for 0 0 you, you have to remember the excitation table so that's why we have written initially okay so while uh, these two are very much required while writing the conversion table for 0 0 0 you will write it as 0 don't care for 1 1 you will write it as don't care and then 0 so now let us see okay so for the 0 0 we have written as 0 and then don't care for 1 1 we will write this opposite so don't care and then 0 for 0 0 the same we will write 0 don't care for 1 0 so this is nothing but uh, don't care and then 1 for 0 1 he will write it as 1 and then don't care so for 1 1 he will write it as don't care and then 0 for 0 so these two are going to be invalid okay so now let us see uh, now let us see how to get the expressions for j as well as k so for that for getting j we need to write the k map for a three variable k map okay so let us take three variable k map here so the inputs are yes r and then q okay so we will write the values 0 0 0 1 1 1 and then 1 0 you can remember how to write the a k map so the values are you can take 0 don't care and then 0 don't care so the next one is 1 don't care don't care and then 1 so from this you can map the bits like this okay so you can take a group like this okay you can form the bits like this okay so this is our combination of 1 okay so now let us write the value of uh, the value of j here okay so j is nothing but yes here okay so when you map like this so only one input that we are going to have that is yes okay so only the term that is yes and then let us derive how to get the like how to get the value for how to get the expression for k for that also let us take a k map okay so you can take a three variable k map okay so with the variables yes r other one is q so the values are 0 1 so here also 0 0 0 1 1 1 and then 1 0 okay so we can fill the values like this so that is don't care 0 so don't care and then 1 the next one is don't care so 0 don't care and then don't care okay so we can take the values okay so you can map the bits like this so you can you can map the bits like this okay so it's a expression is nothing but okay so it's a expression is nothing but k is equal to okay so we have to take these two so in these two also we have commonly uh, involved variable is r so k is equal to r okay so now let us take uh, now let us uh, now let us write the logical circuit okay we have j value as s and k value as r so based on these expressions we will write the logical circuit so here i am writing okay here i am writing so j is equal to s and then k is equal to r here okay so j is equal to s and k equal to r so now let us write the logical circuit okay so let us take one flip flop okay so that let like the flip flop inputs are okay so j and then uh, j and then k and then flip flop outputs are q and then q bar okay so q and then q bar so there will be a clock here okay so there will be a clock and then what is our j and then what is our k so the j is nothing but okay so k so j is nothing but yes and then k is nothing but r okay so this is the conversion from jk to sr flip flop okay so thank you